uh, the procedure uh, or the procedure laid down in the present constitution is very clear for constitutional reform and the adoption of a new constitution. That is the toothless majority plus the government does not intend by passing those provisions. On the 9th of January, a uh, resolution will be moved in Parliament for the setting for, for, for uh, providing for a committee of the whole house. I want to emphasize a committee of the whole house, which we call the Constitution, Constitution and Assembly, uh, because it's a, it's a special occasion. It's a, it's a special. Uh, uh, it is a it is a, a committee that that is entrusted with a very important task. So uh, it is called a uh, constitutional assembly. Uh, sorry, constitutional assembly. Yes, as opposed to a constituent assembly. A constituent assembly, like the one we had in 1972, adopts a new constitution, adopted in the constitution. This house, the committee of the whole house, has no power to adopt a constitution. It can only draft a new constitution, having considered the views of the public and having considered having discussed among themselves. Thereafter, the cabinet of ministers will certify it as a bill requiring a two-thirds majority and approval by the people at a referendum. Uh, that is very clear. The resolution very clearly says for the removal of any doubts that it is, it will be, that it, it will follow, that the procedure laid down by the present constitution will be followed. Uh, I wish to comment on a, on a, uh, uh, I wish to comment on a statement made by Professor G. L. Beeris. Uh, in today's Daily Mirror, that uh, 11 separate uh, referenda have to be play, held in respect of the new, in respect of a new constitution, because there are 11 articles which require referendum. Uh, uh, nothing can be further than for, further from the truth. That it's very clear. Article 83, very clear. Uh, yes, there are 11 or even more articles which uh, require a referendum. Uh, so if you, if a bill is for the replacement of any of those articles, it will require a referendum, but there is no requirement of, uh, of, of 11 separate referenda. And Article 75 of the Constitution uh, very clearly says that legislative power of Parliament includes the power to repeal the Constitution as a whole. The only condition is that when you repeal the Constitution as a whole, the same law must also enact a new Constitution to replace the that's the only requirement. So, and it's, uh, we have had one occasion in the history of Sri Lanka where such a constitution, constitution bill was presented to the to parliament, certified by the uh, cabinet as a bill requiring a two-thirds majority and a referendum. Uh, it, this is the constitution of Republic of the of, of, Constitution of the Republic of Sri Lanka bill presented to parliament. Uh, on the 3rd of August 2000 by the then Minister of Constitutional Affairs who was none other than the same Professor Kiel.